So this is the first activity on your coding poster. And look what I've done. This is what I do with my class. I'd say, is everyone getting ready? So you've got your whiteboard on the poster ready so that your focus is just on the visual prompts. Now this activity is all the visual prompts and it's no letters, no, num no, letters, no sound picks. So what, the te what your teacher might do first of all is give you the speech sounds and you've got to find the right one. Red boot. Red boot. Can you hear the word? Did you hear red boot? If you did, you'd have put a circle around it. That's the. I'll do duck fingers because I can't can't see. Red boot. I've got a red boot. The next one might be, I'm going to choose two or three. The next one might be, oh, it's got a clicker. I might have said to you, k or ik a And we see who can hear clicker. It doesn't have to be the same word, so I'm not always going to say red boot. On this one, I might have said, look, I think there's a little, I think there's a little lady who lives in that red boot. So I might have said, uh, or a de e, the at, or e the z, in the a, the oot, a lady that lives in the boot. Now your teacher's not going to give you a long one to start off with. She's probably just going to give one or two words. Your teacher will give you probably two or three of them. Let me give you another one. Um, k o o k. See which one it is. K -o -o -k. Clock. So as soon as you see it, you put a circle around it. And as I say, it's not always going to be the same word. I might have said k -o -o -k today for that one. Another day I might have said uh you e -o -o -k -o -o -k. I might have said a yellow clock. So your teacher will choose probably two or three. And then what you'll do is then you're going to do the speech sound lines. So I will do red boot first of all. So I'm going to start right up here because I don't want to, I don't want to waste all this space because I want to fit in as many as I can. So I'm going to put red boot. Did you see this finger space there in between the words? So I've got red boot. Then I'm going to do my numbers whilst I'm doing the sounds. Red B -oot. And as you can see, I started again because they're two different words. So I'm doing it with my speech sounds. R -e -d, I finished that word. B -oot. So I'm speaking in speech sounds for red boot. What was the other one? Clock. K -o -o -k. Use your duck hands. K -o -o -k. Clock. I might do that one up here. K -o -o -k. K -o -o -k. Clock. So your teacher might do two or three and then you've got to do the speech sound lines and your teacher will just walk around the classroom and check if you're doing the sounds, if you're really hearing those speech sounds. So that's this activity, there's no letters, no sound picks. But what will soon happen is that you, your teacher doesn't need to lead that, you do it yourself. So your teacher will say, is everybody ready? Make sure you've got all the boards right so that everybody's ready. Everyone's got their pens. Everybody's sorted. Everyone's listening. So then your teacher will say, go. And you're going to choose which ones you want to do. And you're going to circle them. But you're going to circle it. And then you're going to do the speech sound lines. And you're going to circle another one and do the speech sound lines. And if your teacher comes around at any time, they can say, what's this one? And you'll be able to follow the sounds to say the word and tell them where you found it. Now you'll end up getting really creative. So this might not have just been a racing car. Uh, this might not have just have been a r a s a m k a r a s a m k a. It might not just have been an ordinary racing car. You might have decided that day it's a. Uh, B -r -i -t -sh -i -n -e 
fast. R A S A M K A. What was it? A B R I T. Sh I N A. F A S T. R A S A M K A. So if your teacher came there later on and said, goodness me, this is a nice long one, what's that one? You would say, look, it's there. And it's a bright, bright, shiny, shiny, fast, fast, racing, racing, a bright, shiny, fast racing car. Oh, how exciting is that? So after you've rubbed everything off, then you move your whiteboard again. This time we're going to do this activity. So we've already done this one. And remember, there's no letters, no sound picks in that one. That's just for phonemic awareness. That's really important for your brain. Then when we come down to here, now if you're on the green level, you'll start on the green level. Once you get up to the blue level and you're really confident with all of the others, you're really confident with green and purple and yellow and blue, you'll start on blue. But at the beginning, everybody starts on green. And let me show you what you have to do. So you're going to say it, draw it. Look, say it, draw it. And you're going to go all the way, you're going to go as far as you can. Because this activity took about a minute. This activity you only get about a minute at the most. Now, if you have been working on green or purple or whatever, and your teacher wants to give you a little bit of a boost, she might say, or he might say, right, get your, let's say we're going to do yellow, and you haven't been doing much of yellow before. Let's say you've managed to get all the way up to here and you're doing really well with these. And your teacher's thinking, I know, we'll do a, give you a bit of a boost today. What she might do is she might say, right, get your pens ready on the J. So instead of doing all the way over here, you're just going to put your pen on the J and she's going to do the sounds and then you say the sound after. So she'll go J. You draw it and say J at the same time. V, V, W, W, X, X, Y, E, I. Now we do that, do you see the little star up there? That means there's more than one. So you're actually going to go over this more than one time because that, that's a picture of more than one speech sound for this activity. So she might actually say the sound so you're looking at them as she's saying the speech sounds and you're going over the top of that and that re really helps your brain. So your teacher would probably do that first and then say, right, now you have a go. And whereas yesterday you were getting all the way up to there, today you're going to try and do a little bit more, just remembering that the ones we did together. So you'd go through with S and you draw it, A ah, and you draw it, T and you draw it, P and you draw it, I and you draw it, N, M, D, G and J, O, S. Eh, a, er, h, b, f, f, o, 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 s, etc. So that's all you're doing there. It's say it and draw it. That's that activity. And I say you've got about 60 seconds to do as many as you possibly can. And of course you rub it all off. And now what are we going to do the whiteboard so we're nice and organised? Now we're going to move it up. Put it on here. So we're ready with our words. And these words are follow the sound, say the word, words. So when you get to them, you can either do it just by with your finger, s, at, sat, n, ap, nap, p, at, pat. Or you can do it with your duck hands, which is always a really good idea. S, at, sat, n, ap, nap, p, at, pat, s, p, it, s, spit. Do as many as you can. You might do s at sat and then cross it out so that the teacher can see how many you've done. 
Now, again, with your teacher, supposing you've been doing these and you've been doing really well, and just before the time comes up, you start to do these. The teacher might say on one session, right, everybody, all I want you to do is look at it with your finger. I'm going to give you the sounds. You tell me the word. So you do that with me now. Mm, ah, mm. Did you say man? D, ah, d, dad. Mm, ah, mm. Mum, good app, gap, jet all gentle, good it good all giggle. So that means if I give you a few of them to start off with, or the whole lot, when I say right, is everyone ready to start? You'll do those, but this time you'll remember a couple more. So you're about to keep going. If you are already on the yellow level or the blue level, whatever, you don't start all the way from the beginning. You don't need to. You just start from there. Now I've turned it over. Now some coding posters are like this and they've just got the sound picks and the words underneath and some of them have actually got the visual prompts as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a chant. Now to start off with when this, this poster is all new to you, your teacher will say, right, everybody, point. S, s, at, sat, a, ant, ant, t, t, ip, tip. So you do that at the same time as your teacher. P, p, a, n, pan, i, p, i, n, pin. Now, to start off with, you might not be able to keep up. In which case, just listen and follow it at the same time. Now, as a class, when you get really good at these, you'll have a leader for that day. And that's a leader. So, supposing you are the yellow, working at the yellow level, you could lead the purple level that day. And that means that you're the person who goes, m, m, a, n, man, d. Do ig dig and everybody follows you. Even though it's so noisy, everybody's doing their code level at the same time. When you've done that activity, you come down to your duck level words. These are high frequency words, the words we use a lot. But it's really important that actually you can code them all. Your postal lot might look slightly different because we've actually just updated it a little bit. But what I want you to do is you need to be able to go h uh at at d a day. So you might just cross them through. H uh h at at d a day w is with m e me up up or 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 m uh mum h is his g o go. Now every now and again, once a week, let's say, your teacher would say you don't need to code these. You're just going to do them. So in that case, instead of having to code them first to follow the sound, say the word before I do them. Instead of having to do that, you're actually just going to say the word. I love this because it's really, really fast. So you go, her, at, day, with, me, up, all, mum, his, go, out, have. And you do as many of them as you can. And you can take these home so that when you do your coding post the next day, you know more and more and more. You're trying to get to know all of these duck level words that are on the poster. But there are lots and lots more. There are about 400 of them. I'd love to know how many you do activity on the coding poster and again this might look slightly different I've actually got on here I haven't got any capital letters unless it's a name now that's actually because there are already 26 letters of the alphabet when we put the capitals in we've actually got 52 different shapes so we're just trying to keep it really simple but you might have the poster the new poster that actually has got capital letters so it's going to be a little bit harder but I'm sure you're going to be fine on these sentences, what you have to do is scan it and say it in a speaking voice. So you wouldn't say it in a robot voice, the ant and the pan. Or you might say it like that the very first time when you just scan it and try to work it out. You might say it in a robot voice to yourself or, or even out loud. But then you must say it in a speaking voice. Now when I'm doing this, I'll often say to people, right today, you're going to do it in a angry voice so everybody scans it and then when they're reading their sentences so on the left hand side they're the green code level sentences the next ones are the purple code level sentences if you're on the green code level sentences let's say and you're doing it in an angry voice then you'd go you'd scan it check that you know what the words are the ant and the pan so you're going to do it in a really dramatic angry voice so you might the next day it might be a happy voice the ant and the pan. It might be in an ant voice. The ant and the pan. 
can. You can do it in all sorts of different voices. It doesn't matter. But the whole idea is that we're going to do it with a little bit of expression. So you're going to scan it, check you know the code, and then say it in a speaking voice or say it in a funny voice or whatever. So that's the coding poster. Now, if you get to the stage where you can do all of those activities relatively easily, because you always have to be challenged, if your teacher doesn't yet know ways to challenge you on that, then she can just ask me. But this is the coding poster. You spend about 10 minutes on this every day because you need to know all of this. You need to be able to do all of this. The reason that you do this is to check what you remembered from the brain training video. So every day you're doing the brain training video at your code level. So when you come to the coding poster, you should be able to do all of your code level and be able to do as much of the next code level up as you possibly can. So you're always working towards the next code level, trying to aim to have finished this poster so that you can do all of these activities I just showed you really, really easily. So you're on to the extension stuff, the really challenging things. So here's an overview of the code levels. You're going to be able to recognize these and use all of these sound picks in real reading and writing activities.